Hello everyone, welcome to Jenkins tutorial. So today we'll see uh, how to install uh, or use uh, Docker as Jenkins agent. So now why to use Docker as uh, Jenkins agent? It is because like uh, you can create on the fly, you can uh, agent any agent with uh, any binary you want to install and whatever you want to do, you can do that instead of someone uh, being installing the binaries for you in the static agents. So Docker is, you can say, kind of dynamic agent where you can define what all things you want in your agent dynamically at the runtime. Uh, maybe you have to commit some file with uh, some commands which will help you to install the binary and then you can uh, use it to run compile or run any other stage as you run in the static agents. So and another uh, use case of uh, Docker agent may be like uh, to save on your cost optimization part or uh, the utilization part. So as static agent will be available 24 seven and unless you stop it, uh, uh, but uh, what happens in case of Docker agent is like once the uh, required task or job is completed, it will just go off. And uh, then the third benefit is like, uh, again, Docker comes with the uh, namespace concept and various other concept where it utilizes only a portion of the VM and will not use all the VMs and it can segregate uh, from like uh, you can create various uh, Docker agents which can help you to segregate uh, the resources for all the agents and uh, whereas you can still use the same agent maybe the same agent can support three or four uh, Docker agents and uh, maybe run your three or four jobs at a time so it can help you save resources uh and the cost optimization part so let's get started we'll see how to do that so for that we need to go to uh, first to manage jenkins and we'll install a plugin called uh, docker pipeline so let's go uh, to the manage plugins okay so here it is just uh, click it checkbox uh, tick the checkbox and then install without restart and once it is done you can just uh, hit this one so that it restarts your jenkins Okay, cool, that's done. So now uh, just for information like I have installed all the Docker prerequisites in the master uh, Jenkins. That's why I don't need to install any binary in the Jenkins and it will take care of all the Docker uh, runtime uh, CLI commands, whatever is required or even the Docker runtimes. So let's go ahead and uh, create a an, uh, job. So Docker. Jenkins agent is the job name. I'll select pipeline, go to OK, and I'll just go and uh, give this uh, repository and I'll explain the repository and the other various other coding files required. So for now, we'll just go with this. Uh, this is for demo moving. Uh, Docker agent as Jenkins. Okay, cool. So let's go to the other part, which is like pipeline script. We'll go with the SCM. I'll just uh, give the SCM as git and we'll give the git uh, URL. So, in your case, like if you have the URL which is uh, uh, I mean the repository which is public and it requires credentials. So just select the credentials and uh, for creation of credentials we have already seen like how to do in the previous lectures. So for now this is public repository so we don't need any credentials. So I'm just going with blank and here Jenkins selects always select as master whereas uh, GitHub nowadays has the main branch as, uh, as a default. So I just switch to main branch and you don't need to do anything else and here is a script file path. So this is the configuration file for Jenkins, which will uh, pick for the job and execute all the stages. So that's it. We'll just configure the job. Okay, and now let's go to the repository. I'll explain uh, what we are doing here. So this is the Jenkins file, which will be picked by uh, our pipeline job. And it will execute all the steps in sequence. So here it goes and checks for the pipeline uh, uh, keyword. And if it is pipeline, it will create the pipeline. And in the agent here, like uh, before, uh, we uh, like if you have gone through some of the tutorials, you may have seen any etc. or some defined static agent. Uh, but here in this case, we have replaced it with Docker file crew. Uh, what uh, this means is like in this uh, source code itself, it'll 
uh, at the workspace location it will search for the docker file and uh, create an uh, agent from that so and we have at this location like if you go here we can see uh, this is the docker file it will look for and it will uh, from uh, in the docker file it is defined like it will pick up this image node 16 alpine and uh, it will run uh, this command uh, to well, like by adding the git and curl repository so let's go to the other steps uh, so this will create the agent and then it will run all the stages so in the stages i have just used uh, simple commands like uh, echoing the uh, the steps uh, so here you can replace literally with all the your uh, source code checkout and then uh, you can use compile package deploy etc so you can replace all the commands here and otherwise you can also use the, uh, the required plugins here and uh, make the groovy like according to your pipeline which is expected so here it's just a simple pipeline where we are defining the stages like the first stage is cloning gate sas and others all others are there and inside that we are just simply echoing the statements so this that's it from the source code part so now let's go ahead and we'll uh, see how to execute it so once i just click on build now so we can see it has started building and here it has gone to the like it, it's fetching the uh, jenkins file from this repository which we have defined in the git and it is running on our master jenkins agent uh, here and where our uh, like uh, dependency uh, that is the docker clients are installed and then it goes and it clones the repository and here this is the version xfr which it has mentioned and it is just cloning the repository for cloning it has done certain steps now if we see uh, like it has uh, gone to the first part that is it is uh, building the image from this docker file for our agent and once that is done uh, it is uh, doing a simple inspect on the uh, container or the docker agent created and then it is running all the steps inside the container so if you see this step is uh, running your if you're familiarizing uh, with docker like what is docker and how to run that so this is all these things are taken care of by jenkins and you don't need to know these stuffs uh, but really if you just want to have a deep dive session on docker so we have a separate uh, tutorial or a new demo dedicated for docker maybe you like to check out my course and the rating is quite good and i mean you can uh, just learn the basics from there if it is needed but if you just want to know uh, how it is done here uh, maybe just skip that part and we'll see here so uh, it has created the container and we can see it has run the top command and all the commands now see are run inside the docker uh, agent uh, created for uh, jenkins job so here it has just uh, done done whatever are the steps which we have mentioned in the jenkins file like uh, echoes uh, checking out source code and then sas stage etc etc uh, pulling so once it has done everything it has stopped the uh, docker container and then finally it has removed that so it is also cleaning up uh, the agent uh, once it has completed all the tasks so now if we go here uh, let's see the see we can see all the stages here and these all are running the uh, the docker agents instead of our static and agent where we uh, usually mention uh, the static agent in the restrict section where we provide the labels uh, for it to run our uh, Jenkins jobs. So that's it from the uh, Docker uh, agent part. Uh, in the further tutorials, we'll see an actual use case, like how to use some sample project uh, and create uh, or run it on a uh, Docker agent.